Hello everyone, my name is Jerry BR and welcome back to Digimon Survive. So, we are going to be doing this now. And so last time we were here we had done Never Go Back and Save the World. So I guess this time we're staying with Agumon. Honestly, I'm scared. I'm not sure I have what it takes to save the world. Takuma! But despite that, I'm still going to go back. Because here's the thing, I could never turn my back on you, Agumon. Takuma. You mean you're doing this for me? That's right, Agumon. Maybe it's selfish, but you know what I care about more than the fate of the world? What happens to you, Agumon? So I want to fight together, right up to the bitter end. Is it wrong of me to think like, think that? Not at all. You just made me so so happy, Takuma. Because I care about you more than anything too, so I'll keep you safe right to the end. Thanks, Akumon. I think I feel the same way, actually. I want to save my partner, who did so much for me. What? Oh, nothing. Let's all fight side by side. Not to save the world, but to save the ones we care about. Yeah, I've made a lot of mine too, Mayuki. I'm going to help you. And we get to skip a bunch. Alright, part nine. And hopefully we are on the right path to get the good ending. I don't see why we wouldn't be. But, uh, you're still awake? Ryo, Kunmon. Q. Can't sleep, huh? Yes. We made it back somehow, but after a battle like that, I can't calm my nerves. Can't blame you. Man, I'd be fretting if I said I felt much different. I've been thinking about how to escape this world. Other than asking the enemy, I mean. It seems everyone's done the same, but I want to help the professor look for a clue. Help the professor? Huh. <laughs> Ain't you supposed to be taking point on this fearless leader? Haha, uh -huh. come on, be nice. Always doing her best to lead everyone. She's like a mother to all of us. A mother? Yeah, I feel you. Of course, I want to be the leader, but that'd just be me chasing my father's shadow. Now, I think a leader is something different from the forceful leadership style he uses. Seeing the professor, I've come to think that a leader should be generous and in in intellectual. That's why I want to stay close to him, to study his example with my own eyes. Ah, I got you. Well, if we're talking leaders, I'd say Takuma fits the bill more than anyone. I know what you mean. He's been a strong influence on my ideal of a leader. We'll have to just do our best until he comes back. Yeah, um, I mean, how do I say this? When he's not around, I can't just leave it all to you and Aoi. I'll, uh, I'll follow your lead, I. Ryo, sure, I'm glad I can rely on you. I'll do what I can too. Thank <laughs> you. Aha, right, we'll do this together. All right, I'm curious how much here I get to skip. Because other than like right here, I doubt there's much. Oh, wait, I get Takuma. Is that really you, Takuma? Oh, you're safe. 
Honestly, I thought you were kaput. Heidi ho, guys. Looks like I caused you guys some grief. Looks like, he says. Where the heck have you been hiding this whole time? Whoa now, Kaito. Slow your roll. That ain't any way to greet him after he just got back. Now, now. The important thing is that he's safe and sound, right? Indeed. This is a joyous occasion. That won't do, right, Takuma? What happened to you in the ten days after you got separated from us in the factory? Ten days? Does time move that quickly here? Please tell us in as much detail as possible. Give him a break, Aoi. But that info may be the difference between life and death for us, you know? Aoi, you've changed somehow. Is that so? So many things happened while you were gone. As long as you can see, the fog's gotten worse. I doubt it'll be safe here much longer. That's why we have to get out of here as soon as possible. So we need any information we can get our hands on. Can you help us? Sure, I'll talk. The truth is... You went back to the real world? Yeah, but I was only over there for a few hours. That's why I was surprised to hear over a week had passed on this side. Hmm, time flows differently in this world. And the other one, like the tale of Urashima Taro. I'm happy to see everyone got back safely. Indeed, although to call us safe now is a bit of a stretch. Hey, one thing's bothering me. If you were able to get back to the R world, why'd you come back here? We saw Piedmon going on a rampage through the other world. What? So, the situation is no longer limited to this world, is it? Yeah, at this rate, our world's going to be in danger too. This fog-covered world is corrupting the world we came from. That's why I came back. I don't know if I can save everyone, much less the whole world, but... That's Takuma for you, my man. Takuma? What a guy. So you just came back here on your own? It's Kaito. Not quite. It took a lot to get back here and... Mayuki? Mayuki holds the key? What do you mean? Mayuki's already done for. I wouldn't count on her if I were you. Don't say that! We're friends. We have to hear the details. Quiet, Miyu. I'm saying this for your sake. You're not doing this for me, Kaito, you. Knock it off, you two. Now's not the time to be button heads. Ryo stopped the fight. His mouth as nasty as ever. He's keeping a cool head. First, let's hear what Takuma has to say. What's this about Mayuki being the key? Right, okay. A song that Mayuki knows is needed to return to our world. I don't know how she does it, but it seems like her song connects both worlds. All the more reason for us to get Mayuki back then. You think you can do it? If we have to, we have to. Why don't you get it? I don't want to put you in danger. Oh, come on, you guys. Enough already. Let's leave it there for now. I understand how you feel, Kaito. Takuma gave us some valuable info. Even so. Kaito. Is our goal to survive another day? Or is it to return home? All of us, if possible. Of course, everyone understands how difficult it would be to rescue Mayuki at this point. But if that's the only path we can take, beggars can't be choosers. Yeah. Shuji's gotten more reliable than before. Now, Professor, I want to make contact with Mayuki, if possible. 
What's Mayuki doing now? Let's talk about that later. Please tell me your thoughts, Professor. Nobody's telling me what's going on with Mayuki. It's like they don't want to. What's going on? You want to get her back. You will have to learn what that really is. If we can just get some clue as to what that is. If you're going to look, I'll help you. Of course, I'll help too. All of us feel the same way about getting back to our world. Enough with all the fighting, everyone. That could be disastrous at this stage. Everyone's acting differently. Can people change so much in just 10 days? Aoi, Shuji, and Ryo have changed a lot. They're all much more reliable than before. But then, who's changed the most? Um, just checking out my... Shuji's... Oh, they both need a little. So I need those two... I'm going to pick Shuiji just because his is the lowest of the three. You've changed somehow, Shuiji. Huh? Me? Yeah, I'd say you're more reliable now. He stopped all that leader this, leader that stuff lately, too. Oh, yeah? You don't want to be a leader anymore? No, that's not the reason. It's just, I'm trying to figure out what kind of leader I should be. What kind of leader? Always the one encouraging everyone and holding things together these days. Should I coordinate between her and the group? Or help out when we're on the move? Uh, are you saying you've lost interest in being a leader then? Uh, no, of course, I still have my eye on a leadership role. Still, I started thinking that there must be a style of leadership that suits me best. As part of that thought process, I've been shadowing the professor. The professor? I get the impression his calm and intellectual outlook would work for me. I want to be someone you can look up to, just like him. Shuiji's been real happy lately. I can see that. Well, Mayuki's situation is more urgent than mine, at any rate. She's the key, he says. I bet the professor knows something. No one wants to talk about Mayuki. Maybe now's not the time to ask about it. Why don't we take a break, everyone? Takuma's just gotten back, after all. I'll whip up an extra fancy lunch today, okay? Oh, then I'll help too. Thanks, Saki. I appreciate it. Well then, you all wait here until it's ready. Hey, Takuma? What is it? Um, about Mayuki. Do you know what happened to her, are we? Yeah, but... You should just rest for now. After that... I'm really glad I got to see you again. Thank you for coming back. Alright, what do we... This is free actions. Talking to them, I think, leads to like some recruiting of some like a recruiting Digimon, if I remember right. Oh, I can't talk to. Huh. Oh, we'll circle around to that if there's time. only get five of these so you should be flattered. Kew kew! Looks like Kunmon wants to welcome you back too, Takuma. Is that right? Thanks, Kunmon. Kew! It's good you came back, but is Mayuki really the key? Yeah, no doubt about it. If you say so, I'll believe it. Real talk though, I seriously don't get it. 
We, we're running around like maniacs just to survive. Then there's this Mayuki business. I can't spare even an iota of energy on trying to figure out a way back home. Ryo definitely seems calmer than before, but he's still super anxious. And yet, from what everyone says, he's definitely a helpful part of the team now. Also sounds like he knows the deal with Mayuki. Maybe I can get details from him? No, let's brainstorm. Let's think it over together, man. First we need to find Mayuki, then... Dude, ain't you a ray of sunshine, given you know diddly squat about Mayuki's sitch. No, it's just... I know, I know. I'm not saying we should just sit on our hands like a couple of slackers. We gotta save the girl no matter what, yeah? So we have to figure out how to do that. Rio, I can't say I expected you to be so on board with this. <laughs> uh, well, maybe I wouldn't have been before, so I can't blame you. If we gotta make it happen, then we'll make it happen, that's all. Yeah, let's do it together. Guess I'll just have to do what I can based on what you say. Heh, <laughs> doesn't sound like me, does it? Not true, man. Thanks for trusting me. Hey, not that off. It's no big deal. So he says, but he looks pretty happy. I've gotta keep at it. You are putting their faith in me. Alright, so that's... One, no, Shuji. I'm really glad you came back. Sorry, sorry I worried you. I didn't want anyone to be sacrificed. So I was honestly pretty upset. I was in shock, so all we had to take over. As group leader, Aoi tried really hard, didn't she? I tried hard too, you know. It's just that Aoi tried harder. Watching her was like a wake-up call. She was a leader through and through. Thanks to her taking over, I was free to help the professor investigate the inner shrines. Ah, with adequate attention to safety, of course. I was just about to head back to the investigation, really. Shuji looks like a new man, somehow. I wonder if he secretly resents Aoi for taking over the leadership role. Wait, but then, what was that about investigating the inner shrine? I'm curious. Uh, you look refreshed. You look really refreshed, Shuji. Like you have more room to breathe. Really? Well, I definitely feel calmer than I used to. I was spinning my wheels so much up to now. I should do the best I can, in my own way. I have to work even harder. That way, all of us can go home next time. those two? Oh, they're both at 69. What a tease. Takuma, man, I think you'd come back now, spouting that stuff. All that, that about Mayuki being the key? You gotta be kidding. Sorry, Takuma. Bro seems kind of irritated for some reason. Okay. Kaito! I figured I'd see how he's doing, but he's in a worse mood than I'd anticipated. 
You're just talking nonsense since you can't bear to let her go, right? You really think I'm capable of that? Listen, listen good. My Yuki's finished. Kaput. We gotta take down the boss and fast. My Yuki's finished? What are you saying? Exactly what I mean. Just look at her. Even you've got to throw in the towel, right? Are you serious, Kaito? So if I was in her position, you'd do the same to me? I thought we saw these before. No way. I'd never do that to you. I wouldn't let you get in that way in the first place. I'll always protect you, you hear me? Always. You get it, don't you? You're weak. That's why I can't leave you on your own. And those things out there would eat weaklings like you for breakfast. Even back then, you wouldn't have been fine if you just stayed by my side. Back then? What's he talking about? I get the feeling I shouldn't ask. Still, I can tell he's getting too worked up. Maybe I should step in. Calm him down, because I need some points with my you with Mew. You've got to chill out, Kaito. Back off, I'm talking to Mew here. I don't know what's going on, but you don't have to be so patronizing. Cram it. Don't go talking about shit you don't know jack about. What? Thanks for trying, Takuma. I'm sorry, but I can't take it anymore. I'm not something you own, Kaito. I can't stand the idea of being protected by you forever. Don't you see? I'm getting strong enough to stand on my own two feet. Mew. I'm not the weak one here. You are, bro. You are the one depending on me. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Ah. Kaito. He slapped Mew. I couldn't stop him in time. See? Just like I said. No, I... What did I... You only know how to solve things with violence. You just want an excuse to vent your anger and you use me to do it. I'm not the one stuck on what happened back then. You are. Mew, all I want to do is protect you. Protect what's important to me. Oh boy, oh jeez. Hey, what are you going to do, Takuma? Uh, hey man. Sorry you had to see something like that. I get it, things can go on like this. Mew was involved in an accident in the past. Since then all I've wanted is to protect her. It's that feeling that hurts her. All I've been doing is trying to force this idea of Mew in my head out into reality. Kaito. Miyu and Kaito have their own motivations. Even so, Kaito can see his weakness. If you can see your shortcomings, you can change them, right? Your attitude towards, towards Miyu is a bit overbearing, but if you can get that, you're halfway there. At any rate, you seem like a good brother from where I'm standing. Takuma. Heh <laughs> You think so? Yeah, yeah. Maybe you're right. Appreciate it, man. Things are clearer now. I've gotta face Mew up front. Yeah, I'm rooting for you. Alright. Does everyone change places? What's is there anything? Nope, just a free battle. Really wish somebody would like Digivolve to Mega. I don't see him anywhere. Oh, hey, Takuma. Something wrong? Labramon, I'm looking for the professor. Have you seen him? The professor? Hmm, let's see. I think I saw him. He was heading toward the shrine, so I guess he's over by the altar. The altar, huh? Thanks for letting me know. Psh, don't mention it. Always doing her best to pull everyone together, so I've got to do my part. Always sounds like she's had a hard time. Yeah, you know how conscientious she can be. She's taken so much on herself. But now that you're back, I can tell how relieved she is. 
That's right. It's just like you say. I've got to do my part too for Aoi and everyone. Yeah, that's the spirit. Alright, so I could talk to Professor or... Alright, so Mew, Rio, and Shuji. Oh, so I can't talk to him again? Alright. So these are all the same, aren't they? Huh, Mew is nowhere to be seen. Nope, no shadows for me. So the professor is not here. I guess I'm just gonna talk to these three. Okay, so I did do this. Huh. Weird. Or is talking to them what? Spawn. I don't think I talked to Agumon last time. Maybe I did. Hey Takuma. What is it, Agumon? Do you regret coming back here? Nope, not at all. Why do you ask all of a sudden? Really? Really and truly? What's with him all of a sudden? It's not a question I can easily answer. Still, what would Agumon say? Maybe I should give him some encouragement here. Um. Yeah, really and truly. Of course, I came back to protect everyone of my own free will. Okay, if that's how you feel, then I believe you. Agumon seems a bit uneasy, considering how things are going. I can't blame him. I have to do anything I can, anything at all. Alright, now we go find the professor, right? Professor, uh, yes, this place, could it be? Indeed, well noted, my boy. <laughs> Shuiji's like a professor in training over here. Did you guys figure anything out about the mural? Oh, you, Takuma. Oh, were things that simple, they would have been rescued long ago. Well, yeah, good point. Still, I've noticed something interesting. What do you see when you look at this? Hmm, vicious monsters on a rampage? It's more than that, Takuma. Can't you see houses and humans here? Ah, you're right. It's almost like they're running away from the monsters. Yes, I feel it the same way. Perhaps these are monsters that ran rampant in our world. The professor also put together an interesting hypothesis. Ah, Shuiji, my boy. Perhaps now isn't the best time for such talk. What sort of hypothesis? Ah, well, it's just perhaps the Monogami here were models for our creatures of legend. What? Are you serious? Merely a thought, my boy. Just a wild idea drummed up from this mural's data points. Now, the next part is quite important. What does this look like to you? Um, 
This mural, it looks like a human singing some sort of song. And this thing drawn close to it, a woman, maybe a priestess? In ancient times, young boys were taken away from Kamakura and offered to the Kamanagami. Where did you hear that? I have read something about that in the archives of the shrine back in our world. Powers that be in the Kamakura era offered up five yos to obtain the Kamanagami's power. Humans and Kamanagami coexisted. Apparently, this mural and the historical archives are to be trusted. Other's offerings, one had a wicked mind causing the Kamanagami to turn savage. From here, the world of Kamanagami began to descend the mass. Now the four strongest Kamanagami seal those savage beasts off from the four directions. The four strongest Kamanagami? The mural within has shed some light on the subject about this mural and this maiden. The maiden is drawn much more clearly than others indication that she's special somehow. The maiden. Professor? Ah, apologies. It's nothing. Now then, on to the next mural. You see what this is, Takuma? These two separate areas with humans and monsters? This is... This mural could delineate two worlds. Our world and the one we're in right now. Oh, okay, so the humans and Kamanagami each live in their own worlds. It's not just about the worlds. There's something connecting the two, isn't there? Connecting the two? Could this be a gate? Most likely. Piedmon opened the gate to lead an attack on our world, I guess. My word, well done noticing that. When Shuji pointed it out, I was flabbergasted. A gate? Does that mean there were others, like Mayugi, who could connect the worlds? Perhaps people? Or a technique passed down at, at any rate, the method has been lost. The evidence is in this mural. What? Humans and monsters are getting sucked into the gate? I'd imagine the gate deteriorated over time, flinging unfortunate souls between worlds. Takuma, doesn't that sound familiar? You mean, what happened to us? Indeed, no doubt some of the disappearances occurred when the gate malfunctioned. Disappearances were caused by the gate? Well, best to think of it just one source of information. Now, on to the next mural. I was able to make some headway in my investigation with Shuji's help. Even so, this mural is quite indecipherable. The situation depicted is too abstract. Analyzing in the top part here, this mural seems to depict some kind of disturbance. Yeah. These humans and monsters, right? All of them seem to be freaking out. Yes, many of them are upset due to some incredible power. That's all I can tell from observation alone. Each of the murals seem connected, but the problem is the timeline, right? You can't do anything without a basis for linearity. Well, no need to fret over the knowledge we lack. Come, let's move on to the next mural. Now, Takuma, do you recall the tale of beings who suppressed the rampaging Kamanagami? Oh, the four strongest Kamanagami. Yes, exactly. These Kamanagami share aspects of four godlike beings in ancient legends. I believe those gods protected the north, south, east, and west in ancient texts. I feel like I vaguely talked about that last time. Four gods. If we can get Kamanagami like that on our side, then... But we can't exactly count on the power of those whose very existence is up in the air. Ha. Huh. You speak truly, my boy. Four gods, four Kamanagami. Hmm. I wonder if the professor's caught on to something. If only this story gave us some clue about how to save Mayuki. Indeed. If only. Well, that's all we've gleaned from our investigation of this area. Explanation was a bit rushed, I admit, but what do you think? Any questions? Oh, um, questions? All oh, right, I did have something to ask the professor about the photo I saw back in the apartment and his talk with Guru Ramon. Are the professor and Mayuki related somehow? Will he ever even tell me if I ask? Him and Mayuki. The questions would be paltry. Oh. What was that all about? It's nothing. I guess that means I shouldn't stick my nose where it doesn't belong. 
I thought I got to ask all three of those. Whoa. What is it? I'm sorry, it's just my phone. Your phone? You got a text? No, I just get some meaningless garbled message text from time to time. Let's see. Yep. Just more gobbledygook. Oh, I see. I got one myself a few days ago. Some garbage is you, though. I see. Huh. So my imagination are more parts legible compared to the last time. If you can't read it, you can't read it. Might as well forget about it for now. Come on, Takuma. We should head back to the school ourselves. Yeah, sure, let's go. I'm gonna tell him my side. Oh, I did that last time? Hmm. Weird. It's no use. Mayuki doesn't react no matter what happens. We need to face the enemy if we want to survive anyway. After this battle, if we can unlock our mega evolutions. I always wonder how games choose like their first moves like that. These things actually going to be strong? Well, that's gonna be interesting. This is certainly unexpected for them to suddenly be strong. Which I guess is where they actually expect everyone to be, so... so weak. I guess we can't hurt to evolve. At least I get to go first. Oh, that is a small, small speck. Yeah. 
there any other chests lying around? Does this do SP recovery? I doubt this can actually hit both of them. Darn. She missed a stunned enemy? That's embarrassing. Counter. U nine. Oh, no. She attacked the other weakest one. Fresh snake head, what the fuck is that? Is that completely restores the target, those guys jump for joy when we find these. Honestly, I don't see the appeal. Huh. Alright. That's weird. This is all the same as before with Renamon and Mayuki. <laughs> we did it somehow. Oh. 
What the hell is that thing? That aside, looks like Mayuki reacted to the professor. You get it now, don't you? Mayuki's no good anymore. Her consciousness has been taken over by the master, and they spent all this time enduring attack after attack by Mayuki. After all, they couldn't exactly kill her. She's one of us. And above all, we can't stop the master without her. We know how you feel, man. There just ain't anything we can do about it now. We'd like to do something to help, but what? I'm sure everyone realizes how important Mayuki is in all of this. Maybe there's a way to bring her back. What if we call to her like the professor did? No, maybe we should let him keep doing it. She'll come back eventually, right? Uh, we need Mayuki. Still, we need Mayuki. You mean her song. Yeah, like I said before, if we don't save this world, ours will be in danger too. And what are we supposed to do? I mean... I mean, it must be some. Let's all talk to her. Let's all talk to her together. I bet that'll bring Mayuki back to her senses. We tried that already, way back when she first showed up. Yes, but... Well, that makes sense. I guess they would have tested that out themselves already. I don't know. We still have our hands full of problems, it seems. By the way, Shuji, how'd it go finding hints from the shrine or the legend? I found nothing special. Details of incidents that occurred in ancient times. We should focus on resolving the situation we're dealing with now. Hold on a moment. According to that mural, the master was sealed by four god beasts. Now, the master is running rampant. So what happened to the god beast that sealed him in the first place? I believe these god beasts may hold some sort of clue. Now hold on. Sorry to burst your bubble, but where would we find these god beasts? They exist as the Piccolo Mural, should be to the north, south, east, and west. Fortunately, we don't know how this world is put together. In other words, we don't know Jack. As you say, I wish I could be of more help. We are simply too ignorant about this world. Ah! What is it, my Miu? Are you hungry? No! Gigi Mon! That old fart's a walking encyclopedia about this world. He must know something. <gasps> Is the path to the amusement park still open? Can't say for sure. Our situation will not improve the th way things are right now. That's right. We won't make any progress just mulling this over by ourselves. So let's head to the amusement park. Just like that, everyone was all for it. But with that, I think we're going to have to end this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying Digimon Survive. Be sure to come back next time where we'll go into the next As always, I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye!